Well, a major controversy for the Catholic Church, with Pope Francis accused of covering up sexual misconduct allegations against Cardinal Theodore McCarrick, the former Archbishop of Washington, D.C. A one-time Vatican ambassador to the U.S. says he published his declaration out of love for the Catholic Church and not out of anger. He has also called for the Holy Father to resign. Joining me now is Brian Yenis. Brian. This is big. Ar yeah, it is big, Arthel. The same former archbishop calling for Pope Francis to resign is now calling the pope a liar in a new letter that was published Friday. The letter written by former Vatican ambassador to the United States, Carlo Maria Viganò, accuses Pope Francis of lying about a meeting he had with Kim Davis. Davis is the Kentucky clerk who was jailed for five days for refusing to issue same-sex marriage license licenses. Conservatives in the Catholic Church, like Viganò, hailed Davis a hero for her courage to stand by her religious beliefs. Now, according to a New York Times article, during his visit to the U.S. back in 2015. Pope Francis did not know who Davis was and was surprised when she was snuck into a private meeting with the Pope. In fact, the Pope was so angry, he then fired Vigano for pulling the stunt which threatened to derail his U.S. visit built on a message of inclusivity. Now, Vigano says that's just not true, writing, quote, what is certain is that the Pope knew very well who Davis was and he and his close collaborators had approved the private audience. It is clear that Pope Francis was wanted to conceal the private audience. This comes days after Viganò penned an 11-page letter accusing Pope Francis of not only turning a blind eye to sexual abuse allegations against ex-Cardinal Theodore McCarrick, but also rehabilitating McCarrick from sanctions that Pope Benedict had imposed on him. The Pope said he would not confirm nor deny these accusations, a response that some believe is lackluster. I think the Pope made a mistake. Uh, now, I think he was correct in telling the reporters, hey, look at the document, analyze it, uh, try and fact check it. Because frankly, if that document had been written by a journalist and given to their editor, it never would have been published because it was full of allegations without any evidence and proof. Bottom line, Arthel, this is seen as Pope Francis's toughest test yet. Sexual abuse scandals around the world and now very public church infighting. Arthel. Brian Yenis, thank you.